let me show you something just before we get Lewis Hamilton. He's coming out in a second. But before we do, uh, this is something I read about and I thought I'd get it into the show and we maybe try it out because there's a company here in London, uh, in Walthamstow, and they've created a new flavour of jam. Okay, the flavour that uh, I imagine they thought the nation has been craving, bacon flavoured jam. <laughs> yeah, they, this is it, this is an actual product, we haven't mocked this up, it's actually said bacon jam. Who doesn't want bacon jam? <laughs> Obviously, apart from Jewish diabetics, but who... Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, and if you can't get your hands on it, you can always make it at home. We've looked at the recipe on there, and I've got the ingredients here that you can make your own bacon jam at home if you wanted to, and this is the the genuine ingredients they have here, which is the, you have the smoked bacon, ready cooked, so you put that in there. Okay, you probably blend it all up with red onion, that gives it a nice, so it's more, it's much like a chutney or a pickle. Uh, we've got vinegar, that's the posh balsamic vinegar. Spice, oh, there's the spice. Coffee, has coffee in it. Garlic, okay, and, and here's the kicker, whiskey. <laughs> Oh, there's a bit more of that. <laughs> this smells better. <laughs> and this is how you make it. And you would mix up at home if you, uh, if you wanted to try some. And that is what you would wind up with. If you're getting close on that, if you can get in close on the whiskey there. Leaves that up in there. Christ. <laughs> no wonder Delia Smith always looks off her tits. It's <laughs> Are you trying it there, Sarah? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? I'd call it a spread rather than a. Would thing. you? I tell you what, you're a game girl. Everything I've told you to put in your mouth tonight so far, you've done it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look and learn, Hamilton. Look and learn. <laughs> uh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for our next guest. I am delighted he's on the show. Before he comes out there, just let's take a look at him in his office. Look at this. <laughs> he is one of the greatest sporting talents this country's ever produced. It's Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> There's a good-looking and well-turned-out young man right there for you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for the warm welcome. <laughs> My mum's somewhere out there. Your mum's here this evening? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hello, no, Mum. Where's Mum? Up there. Oh. Hey, Mum. <laughs> make yourself known on the way out. I'll make sure you get a car home. <laughs> Ask you, was that apple juice you were drinking? No, that was whiskey. I want to pass it here. It was whiskey, dude. I want to pass it here. Can know, you hold yeah. your drink? Are you okay? Are you I old can. Nothing? I had, yeah, you I had to have some before I came, or else I know. That's apple juice. No! <laughs> <laughs> Commiserations on uh, the weekend. I was watching on TV, uh, Spa it was in Belgium. Yeah. Thank form. you for not showing it, actually. I was... We've got it coming up. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I want you to talk us through it, because it's a terrifying thing when any of us see a crash. Unfortunately, this wasn't a bad one. It wasn't, I mean, it's bad enough to get you out of the race, but it wasn't, there was no damage done to you or to other drivers. Um, but I'm wondering, you know, wh what happens wh wh when that's going on? What's going through your mind the first time you realise that you're losing control? What's the first thought you have? Well, sometimes you know it's coming, but, you know, for then, I, I honestly didn't, I didn't see the guy that was, I could see he was behind me, but I thought I, I was past him fully, yeah, so yeah. I was literally committed to the corner, and as I was turning in, I got a clip from the outside. So you'd overtaken him, uh, and you'd gone out to follow what they call the line, I guess, mm. and you were then going to swoop back in, and then he was coming up the inside. Yeah, I mean, you need to have very good awareness of, of the space around you. Or look in your, your mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> We have, you know, when you're doing 200 miles an hour, they're flapping, so you can't actually see them too well. Why do they even have one? Because it's just legal. It's just a oh, so it's legal. Okay, issue. so it's like yeah. you don't get the MOT unless you've got the mirrors. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 
Can we show the clip of the, the bunker? Go for it. Go for so it. I'm not doing I have, this I've only seen it like once. So. so you don't, you wouldn't, it's not something you would watch back again and again, I guess. Anyway. No. It's not like, no. But, but I, guess I prefer you, watching the clip you, you showed. The first yeah, one where you're winning. Good. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> but this is the most recent thing. So let's have a look at this and maybe you can talk. So this is uh, the weekend, if you watch it, it was in Belgium. It was uh, the Grand Prix and this is the, the crash itself. And we see just before it happens and afterwards. Have a look at this. As uh, Hamilton, you can use the DRS, the Grand Prix. Okay, that's... Uh, Thanks uh, for that. Yeah. Thanks. Well, if you want, we have it in slow-mo. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> do you have bruises? Do you have... Uh, are there muscle problems after something like that? Yeah, I think you're, you're, you're in... Um, you know, you've got the adrenaline, so I think yeah. you don't really feel it too much. You the don't next know it's day, happened even. Yeah, the next yeah. day, I was in pain. And Jensen did pretty well after that. I mean, he was like in 14th of that stage. He came yeah. back up. He, he came right through the, uh, the ranks and he ran up at third, I think, at the end yeah. of the stage. It's such a competitive sport, but can you be friends? Do you get on with Jensen? Can you be friends with the other drivers, or does it have to be fairly ruthless? At the end of the day, we're yeah, we're fierce competitors. But um, you know, I'm very lucky. I think the last couple of years, I've had very good teammates, and Jensen is a very, very, very similar to me. He's come from you know from nowhere. We've got a great family behind well, that, us. That, but that, you can really fill in your guy. own captions at home for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Do you ever give him any driving tips? <laughs> no, no, not tempting. <laughs> You should just, when you wind him up after and say, you know what you want to try? When you're doing that thing, you want to try... <laughs> I think he'll be giving me the tips at the moment. He's doing a lot better, so... Uh, but it does, you know, but you came, it seemed to many of us, like you came almost out of nowhere and suddenly you were there and you won so young. I mean, you, you were so... How old were you when you, when you won the first time? Uh, I won in 2007 in my first year, so I was 22. 22? It's crazy because people don't see that what we did before that, you know, yeah. before... Through casting, through, you know, racing remote control cars, sitting in the back of a, of a trailer with, um, you know, just a, a gas heater and my dad's old Vauxhall that pulled it along. I, I went go-karting when I was five years old when we were in Ibiza one time wow. on our first holiday. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. I, I, I just had a knack for braking and accelerating and I used that knack through the whole my so karting even when you, So the first time you got in the car, you felt you had a knack for that? Yeah. Uh, and where, where do you think that came from? It just was something you, you just knew how to do it, you just liked doing it? I don't know, yeah, I just I had no fear with it at all. And, um, and what's the fastest you've driven, do you think? What's the fastest speed you've hit? I think the fastest I've ever done is 200 and, uh, 235 miles an hour, I think. That's just silly, though. But isn't that's it? not on the race, you know, on the race. So that wasn't the race, that was like the M1? Where was that? No, we. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what I've done. Well, you have, some points in your... <laughs> have you got points in your license? I went the first time I ever got caught, you know, in your first two years of, of driving, you're only allowed six points. And I was driving up to um, Snetterton. I had a test up there. Okay, and by but, the way, we don't, <laughs> we don't encourage uh, no. speeding if there are any absolutely. young people watching, and we especially don't encourage getting caught. No, so, uh, absolutely. <laughs> I remember looking far ahead, and I saw there was this yellow van, and it had the door open, and I thought, that, you know, that's not a camera. And as I got closer and closer, I started to realise, oh, shit, you know, and... I actually had, I had to ask them to send a picture to show proof, and there was a picture of me. <laughs> and uh, I won't say any more, but the facial expression I had was uh, hilarious. This was so. because you've been caught in the camera, you like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look down there, give us the face, will you, that you were doing. Okay, this is, uh, this no, no, is no, no. Lewis he, when he knew he was, when he finally realised it was a camera. So you're driving <laughs> up, and then the camera goes... <laughs> 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 But you've learned a lesson. You would never, you would never speed now on a, a UK road, would you? No. no. I, I, you know, do you know what? I just don't drive. You don't drive. Just avoid yet. driving. What about uh, uh, Nicole? Can we ask you about Nicole? It's Nicole sure. Schertzinger. Yeah. Uh, when you're driving, with, do you let her drive you in the car? I mostly drive. Okay. Yeah. Like 90, <laughs> 99 percent of the time. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I don't know. I think she loves it when I drive. And um, who wouldn't? And who wouldn't? Uh, <laughs> no, I think there was a time recently where we were driving around LA and. She's, I don't know the place, so she's giving me directions to the restaurant and I get frustrated because, you know, she's, she tells me when to turn once I pass the turning already, so then you have to do a U-turn. Well, so you're like, obviously driving too fast if you no, do no, that. No, no, no. I'll be cruising. <laughs> so I stopped and I let her drive and... How was that? It wasn't great. It wasn't great. <laughs> well, you're going to get married pretty soon, I guess, is that right? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I read you, you're not, I thought I read you were getting married. No, no, we're, we're quite happy where we are. Okay. <laughs> she, left, been... she left, she flew back to LA this morning. She's back to LA, okay. Um, uh, when you go and see gigs, does she like you being there? Does she like seeing you in the crowd or would she rather you weren't in the crowd? Uh, well, I'm lucky. I, I think one of the, the, the props, uh, the, you know, the great perks of being um, a boyfriend of someone like her. I mean, she, she's fantastic to watch, but I've been able to travel around when she was on tour and I stand next to the stage in places that no one gets to go. And... Um, you know, but it's, it's, it's neat. It's, it's incredible. So you get to, to go a little bit closer than the side of the stage with her, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she sings thing? to me. She sings to me when she's on stage. She sings to you mm. on stage? So she always points. 
She always points me out when she's singing, which is pretty sweet. And are there particular parts of the songs she dedicates to you? Like that? Well, there's some songs, you know, she did J Ho, for example, and, and uh, she always tells me that I inspired her to write that. So when she sings that, she always says, this part is for this you. This is for so, you. Yeah, I love it. And what sweet. part of the song is it that, in particular, she sings to you? Because uh, some of her lyrics it's... are pretty wasty, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, some of them are very wasty. No, yeah, well, not that one. I think there's a part where it says, you're the reason I breathe or something like that. Or, oh, that's you know, so sweet. It's kind sweet. of a softy part. So. Actually, and yet you still went like that when you said you were her boyfriend. <laughs> you did. <laughs> It's you right, read, you know, because you know, her boyfriend's show. out there. What does that mean? Why did you do that? The <laughs> quotation marks. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh... OK. <laughs> well, you're, not, you're not what we would call a player. You're not one of those guys, are you? You're not kind of no. oh, looking around for uh, other actions or like that, are you? No, when you have the most beautiful girl in the world, then you don't need to. Wow, what a... <laughs> what a lovely thing to say. And none of that going on there, either. None of that, none of that. OK. Uh, Lewis, how lovely to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, what a charming guest and what a fabulous talent. It's Mr. Lewis Hamilton. Join us after the break, because I like to think the best is yet to come. No disrespect to the fabulous Sarah or, or Lewis, but taste as you were, you are mere starters for the main courses coming up with Adele after these messages. Don't go away. <laughs>